Welcome back. So let's have a look at Kama now with the box that it created again. If you can't, don't remember, um, to get this up and running, remember to do an ng serve. Let me just show you this. I'm just shutting down my serve here. ng test is what I'll do like this. And then it'll start up a test framework and start testing my code. It'll start up Kama, which is pretty much just a browser that can show you the different errors. But you can actually also read the errors inside your code directly. But let me try and show you Kama a second. So this is actually Kama, and again, if I just zoom in here, you'll see, let's just use this to actually fix our box. The first bug I have is app components should have a title of Course Planner 2. That's a new change I made, because right now it pretty much just says, hello world, but I actually want a title to say um, Course Planner 2. Now, the test is already made to say, should have title as Course Planner 2. Now, that's just a title for the test, that's just for us. To be able to find the error right so it's very easy for us to find the error that we're looking for so where is the error oh it's right here should have a title of course plan 2 and right now it's not that title that we show in there so let's try and go into our app module the ts file the app component ts file and actually change this into course plan 2 i'll do a save it'll recompile everything it'll try and run the test again and now there are only two tests that fails you can also see that a comma now we have two failing tests and here a small explanation that three out of five is actually good. Next one, welcome to the new and improved course planner two as a description. What? We don't even have a description yet. So we'll try and create a description. Just a new property here. We'll set that equal to a new string. <clears throat> and it was supposed to say something like, welcome to the new and improved course planner two. So let me just grab that. There we go, I'll save that, and now the description is actually inside our app component. So maybe that'll solve it. Still doesn't solve it, there's still two errors. That's weird, let's try and have a look at the actual spec file and see what that error expects. So I'll go and read the error here that I get. Um, app component should render description in an H4 tag. That fails. But Oh, I say app title here. It should be app description. I have an error in the test. There we go. App description, of course, because that's actually what we're looking for here. The app description should be equal to welcome to the new and improved because that's the TS file we have right here. That should solve. Now we only have one error left and that's we're not rendering this anywhere because it should render an H4 tag inside the HTML. Let's have a look at the HTML. Notice there's the H1 tag here, but we don't have an H4 tag. Let's just add that as well. In there, we're going to add <clears throat> the description field. And notice again, it tries to help you out here. Auto completion should actually work and try and help you. So now we have the description field here as well. Let's see if this runs now. We shouldn't have any more. Now it's successful. What does Kama say? It's successful. All tests are running. Not only that, but if I go here, I'll actually see now. Course Plan 2, welcome to the new improved. Right, so we just built some code. I can explain to you guys what you need to build now, right? I can just give you tests that fail, and then you guys will have to fix them. I'm not sure I'll do that all the time, because it can be pretty complex to write good tests. But just to give you an idea about the test framework, and how easy it is to get started with the test framework. That's all it took, okay? Next lesson, we'll just try and dive more into this component, and how to use it. Now you know a bit about testing, a bit about the errors, a bit about karma. See you in the next lessons.